Hi guys, Chris from CSW, UK distributor for Edge Eyewear. So today with me, I've got the new Arclight from Edge Eyewear, which is a brand new launch. We're going to see this in 2023 in the UK. Uh, first impressions on it, that you've got this really nice, durable frame. These are interchangeable lenses. Uh, they do a whole bunch of them, apart from the standard clear G15 and Tiger Eye. You've also got smoke and the polarised uh, lenses in there as well. Uh, like I say, you can swap the lenses out there, and I'm going to just show you guys how to change those out in a second. But just having a, a look overall, nice fit on these. Again, what we've come to expect from Edge Eyewear is that nice close fit without obstruction, but going right out into the corner of the eye. As you can see, we've got proper coverage all the way through. I'm not going to get anything coming in behind. Um, and then that band around the top there is where everything's going to be put into when you're doing your lenses. Um, but overall, I'm very impressed with these. These, you know, nice fit, I'm not being squashed on the head or anything like that. Uh, just a really, really nice firm fit on there. And I've got nothing really obscuring my vision. I can see right the way out, uh, sorry, my peripherals. Now, showing you guys how to change out the lenses on here. Changing these frames over, I'm going to show you the lenses, which will give you a good idea of how they're actually fitting in there. So you can see nose piece in on there, that comes off. And then you've got these two raised like notches. They're what's sitting up into the top of the frame up in here. So that's where it's really holding on. Uh, when it comes to the frames, I would say best advice is to just not be afraid of them. I just take it and literally just hinge it out and you can give it a little bit of pressure there. I'll just give it a little push. You've got enough flex in there to do it. And then from there, out they come, nice and simple like that. When you're changing it over, just take your frames, put them to one side for a second, because you still need to take the nose piece off of here. And that just pulls, if I do it so you can actually see it, which isn't the easiest way, but this nose piece, again, as you imagine, just pulls out and towards, and then off you come. You've got a fair bit of notch in on there, that's it. And that will just roll itself out. So. Just take your lenses, they've been really generous with this in terms of giving like a sleeve to put it in. The sleeve's actually removable from the case. Uh, I'll show you that a little bit later on. So that from there, take your lenses back and I'll use just a nice strong surface on there and then just hinge it in either side, that, and then that in on there. So I've got this and then I've got this. And all I'm doing is just pushing in to make sure they're lined up and then with my surface of a table, punching that in there. So now my frames are nice and stable on there and as they should be. And I'm just taking my lens bit and then with your fingers, push them in like that. And then there you have it. You are all set up on your frames. You are good to go. Give them a wipe down just with water. Nothing more needed than that. One thing I did find when I was uh, playing with these as well is you've got a little like push button just in here. Um, if I do that, you can see. Uh, you can actually take these arms out. Now, whether that's a case that Edge will be releasing uh, like a wraparound band in the future, not sure, but it might make things slightly easier if you wanted just a little bit more access to get in on there to, um, to get these frames off. It's not necessary though. So there you have it guys. Uh, that is how you get those over. We'll have a look at the rest of the glasses. So that's on the arc light, how you change over the lenses. Pretty easy when you've got the hang of it, just having the confidence. I know they look like, actually, because they're, they're that sort of plastic that you would think they are brittle, but really they're super tough. You've got quite a lot sort of malleability on there. Uh, not surprising being EN166 rated. Uh, I'm you know, just really pleased with, uh, with what you get out of there. I was mentioning earlier where you can keep your lenses inside the bag. So you've got obviously your soft case. Also, you get this little sleeve that sits in there, the lanyard on the back. But it means that you can just put lenses in here. You don't have to fiddle with the case itself, trying to make it uh, fit as you push it in. You can just do this and then push it in on the front and all your lenses are kept where they should be clip on there so you can hang it off if you wanted to, if you've got like a clay vest or something, clip it on there, or the molly on the back so you've got options in how you carry them. I think most people just end up chucking them in a kit bag and you know, that's down to you guys. Um, frames, 
you've got the Army Tan, which is a 499, I think I saw the colour code as this, or standard black, interchangeable on the lenses all the way through. Um, but yeah, in terms of like, actually, I forgot to show you this, I pulled it out and then put it away quickly, mention this lanyard. So again, this nice little fitting that you can just run on your uh, lenses, just clip back through here and it means that if you were worried about losing them as you're wearing them, I mean I think they're pretty secure, I can't really see them coming off, but it gives you that extra bit of security, definitely not going to lose this off the back of there, uh, and it's not such like ferocious elastic, I know they used to use the rubber on the old Super 64 goggles, which if you had longer hair like mine would get, um, it wasn't the most comfortable I must admit, these great option. So. There you are, nice versatile top end glasses. We should see these in the UK in 2023. Any questions, drop them down in the comments below. Like and subscribe to stay up to date and we'll see you next time. Cheers, thanks, bye.